wanted to ask you about uh, you know an issue related to gun laws. You know, with with it being such a hot topic now yeah. that we've seen the tragedy in Newtown, and of course this week in Webster and a town you used to represent. Yes, I believe. yeah, it was really shocking. Uh, what do you you know? What is your opinion on the uh, the federal assault weapons ban, which I believe would need to be reinstated at this point? Uh, and uh, what, what are your thoughts on a ban on these high capacity magazines? Yeah. Well, look. First, let me say that uh, you know I think the most important focus after certainly you know the tragedy in Newtown, which I think has just you know affected every American, and and then to have this thing in Webster, uh, where it's real, real. You know, it's basically ambush of our first responders, volunteers. You know, these are huge tragedies, and you know, you you just feel for the victims' families, and it's impossible not to wonder what does this mean about our society and such. Even if these are just a couple of individuals, how did that happen? So, uh, you know, I think we all have to do some soul searching about that. Um, when it comes to gun control, I've always been for common sense gun control and uh, I, I believe that that's consistent with the Second Amendment. I do think that includes an assault weapons ban, um, but we also have to acknowledge that most likely, so far it looks like the person in Webster, for instance, had those guns illegally anyway. Um, so I do think we need to devote significant, it's not just making sure that we don't have a, a loophole here, but we have to really devote more resources to enforcement and that's where I really come out. Um, you know, keep the common sense gun control that we have. Um, bring the assault weapons ban back. That was that just was allowed to expire. But you know, responsible gun owners lived lived with it for a long time, and and it wasn't a problem. But enforce those laws uh, and do it in a way so that people who are licensed and who have firearms for their work or for their own defense or for hunting or sport or whatever uh, are able to use those responsibly as they do. But make sure that they're not just weapons that can be used and gotten so easily by criminals. And um, it's, it's, it's unfortunate because even while we see a decline in crime overall, we see an increase in gun violence. And, and I just think it's disingenuous to say there's nothing we can do about it. Um, there is, um, but we've got to do it thoughtfully. It's not just a matter of passing another law or two, though we may need to do that. I think we can. I'm very supportive of things like the assault weapons ban. But it's not just that. We need to make sure that we also follow up with enforcement. Uh, you know, my understanding is, is that aid to schools for safety was cut um, within the last couple of years by the Congress. These are the, this is the kind of short-term thinking that's going to get us in trouble. So we need to go and look back at a lot of those things.